But like, yeah, I really, they're really in a position we- wearable to wearable shoes, like wearable connected. All shoes are wearable. <laughs> like, like... <laughs> all shoes are wearable. Hello, and welcome to the Startup Lowdown, where we talk about new startups and technology that we're curious about here, and about how we believe it will impact the future. So the idea of this show is to share some of the conversations that happen in our office every day about some super interesting shit. Yeah. And um, this episode um, seemed like a pretty simple one to do. The age-old argument of Apple versus Android. Every year that goes past, the, this this war between these, these sort of companies is evolving. We're going to use this, this term OS, which, is, which stands for operating system. An operating system is really just the software that supports a computer or phone's basic function. So when you open your iPhone or your Android phone, there's a there's a system there, just like on computers, there's Windows um, that has on a on an old school computer. So on an old, old school computer. Oh, sh- I think we have to we have to insert a disclaimer that every person in our office uses an iPhone. Yeah, there's some there's gonna be some we're actually we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> there's some bias, there's some natural bias, but we actually we have some we have some issues with with Apple as well. So yeah. Steve Jobs was you know one of, one of the best entrepreneurs ever, but obviously a very controversial entrepreneur for how much of a crazy micromanager he was. But a company like Apple could have never existed without having someone exactly like him. Like ever since he died, everything's been slipping to pieces. Our Mac Pros um, are disappointing, expensive, and <laughs> not and very reliable. Sh- Blackberry? Remember that? Good old Blackberry. None of that multi-press. <laughs> Give me that full keyboard. <laughs> they were tiny. My brother, actually, which he's probably not listening. Good, so <laughs> I, can really, I can really go to town on him here. Man, he's got fat fingers. Like, a Blackberry <laughs> would have never worked for him. The fingers you have used to dial are too fat. So I had a dependency around hand size <laughs> for years. So yeah, looking at Android, probably less people know this story. Um, don't know. I don't think there's a movie about this one. <laughs> there's a couple of movies about the other one. Because of that pivot, you know, some pivots work, some don't. Um, there's did and Google acquired Android Inc. for over 50 mil uh, in 2005. These days, they're making billions of dollars a year in revenue from those licensing fees from those uh, hardware companies. So it's been a great for Google's brand, but then also a really great revenue stream. Um, also, they're in the App Store. Yes. yes. And all of their applications would come standard on Android phones. Yes. So people would default to using Gmail. They try and put Hangouts into every single one of our calendar invites. Yeah, Google, stop doing that. <laughs> it's like, no, we don't want to hang out. <laughs> the, actually, as you were talking about that, the interesting dynamic for like startups is often if there's another startup that's doing something similar and they are willing to license you their technology, do you take that or do you spend? You know, 500 grand um, building something that can be pretty hard. I guess our advice around that is like if you think you're going to sell for your IP one day then try and build it yourself but if you think you're going to sell your company for customers or revenue growth or, or brand. revenue or brand yeah then by all means license someone's tech if you think it's going to work perfectly for you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to build everything from scratch. Learn that lesson that you can be a combination of other technologies yeah. um, to get your solution out quicker to yeah. the market. Yes. Yeah. It, it's like two grand or something. It's like it's, like, it's approaching, if you want to beef it up a little bit with some space and everything, it's like it's approaching a $2,000 phone. Yeah. Um, For something that I drop like every week. Yes, you're not very good at that. Um, <laughs> Actually, you're very good at dropping it. You're not very, very good at like very skilled at dropping not dropping it. The cool thing about the hardware companies focusing on the hardware, though, is they've made such advanced progress progress into the hardware because they don't have to fuck around with the software. They've built, they've created like cameras that are way better than the iPhone. They've created um, like they were waterproof, way, water, early, yeah, way oh, earlier. Like, yeah, like <laughs> and they have these like beautiful edge screens and just. That just because they've been able to focus on hardware, yes. they're like sitting around going, oh, what new hardware innovations can we make? It's actually like better than real life. <laughs> the, color, <laughs> the photos instantly look better than real life. I don't know about life. your eyes. My eyes are pretty good. Your eyes are pretty good? Yeah, they look pretty good. Grass in the sky looks pretty good. My eyes are actually like <laughs> tangibly <laughs> perfect. <laughs> you wear contacts. You're like blind without glasses, so... That's a weird statement. The colours look good. The colours look good because yeah. they're all blurry. Turns <laughs> like a piece of art. <laughs> so this really big shift is happening now, though, because 
Google is finally now with such crazy market share. It's almost like the when someone's on the ground and you're ready to, you know, finish it. <laughs> it's it kind of is the final blow, the step of the final blow. 2028. Will Amazon have a phone? Yes. Like a dominant phone in the market, do you believe? You know, it might not be necessarily a phone, but a personal assistant device. It seems hard to believe that Apple would be dead in 10 years, um, like completely dead as a company. Yeah, but, but Nokia died at four. Nokia died pretty quickly. Um, Apple also, I think, has the most available capital in the bank of any company in the world, um, more than multiple countries combined um, okay. value. So they've got, they got a, a bit of runway. So yeah, 20 years, pretty much everyone has a Google phone and like, touchscreen things and, and computers and, Just and integrated experiences with Google yeah. Home, Google Wallet, Google, Google Banks, <laughs> maybe not Google Shoes, we can talk about that in another, <laughs> another Google Shoes, that was a bit of a, a, bit of a jump, but like, yeah, um, really, they're really in a position wearable to... Wearable shoes? Like wearable connected? All shoes are wearable. <laughs> like, like... <laughs> <laughs> All shoes are wearable. If you've got any suggestions for episodes, start up lowdown at pitchblack.co. Does anyone actually look at that? Of course we do. <laughs> we look at all of our emails eventually. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys.